we got my budget percent down 25 percent in the middle part of the build and 25 percent at the end and we deliver it straight to whatever property or plot that you have and we have a loan officer team on staff and so it's like we, we work with really work with people really where they're at and whatever challenges that they're facing because we'll, we'll serve as a quarterback and as far as zoning and making sure that you've got permits and stuff that are uh, designed that are correct because the last thing we want you to do is start the process and then not be ready for it because it's going to be it's going to be coming in hot like we we want to make sure that you, once it lands it gets connected right away you're good to go and you can start because it's completely turnkey there's no like you don't need to go back in there and go and you know adjust anything you can if you want to it's totally it's yours at that point but when it comes down to it arriving you can have it landed you know plug it in like febreze plug it in plug it in and be able to just get rolling and we'll even to take care of uh, pouring the concrete pad uh, as well which is a whole nother note and that's where uh, and that's where we just want to make everyone's life a whole lot easier uh, all right, so let's you, Eric, you back, bro? What's up, man? Man, I, I have oh, not that's to better. Um, Jeremy, so you, uh, I just got back to tell end what you were saying. So you have a one-stop shop, design, build, and all that is in, incorporated into the price, right? Whether it's fifty thousand, absolutely. And what's your highest, um, what's your highest uh, uh, property or building, and what's the square footage? If you know those as far as the you. individual unit, uh, yes, just yes. Trying to understand your question. So yeah. the, um, the shipping containers are 40 foot long, eight and a half foot wide, and nine and a half foot tall, and we can stack them, and they're actually built to withstand 100 mile an hour winds. So if you have different properties you want to maybe build up with that, you can. And even too, we can customize it up to six bedrooms. So I mean, it can. I mean, heck, we can we can build you a 150 thousand dollar tiny home. But out of the shipping containers, but that'll be come with a lot of customizations, and we actually have an off-grid option as well. We use the Bassett system uh, to help with making sure that we, with six to eight solar panels uh, as well. So we, I mean, we have an incredible amount of array of customizations that can be done, and it's interesting because um, we have there's a big comp, there's a big name in the industry called Boxable. And uh, Luis, we'll get into that. I mean, you want to begin to that? Yeah, let's break it down. Let's go. Yeah, let's break it down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's swing. Yeah, like Boxable proved the demand, Eric. Like when it comes down to those who want a a, like, a tiny home, like they proved it. Of course, they're t like, piggybacking on Elon Musk's uh, branding. But one of the biggest things is they can only produce 3,600 units a year. Okay? And their the rumors are they're going to go public. You know, even if they go to three like three facilities, they're only going to uh, be able to produce about eleven thousand units a year, leaving them with a ninety thousand person wait list for about five to eight years to get caught up. Even if they get more investors on board to really push it out, their customizations are lacking. They're like a copy and paste model, and that's that's you know that's they're very upfront about that. We don't have a limitation on the customizations we can do. And we can really get creative with it to really meet the need for whatever communities we want to serve. And we have zero cap on production. We're processing, you know, you know, 60 to 100 units at a time right now and, and just cranking them out. And we have a three to four month turnaround time on the builds, whether it's one or 100. And we even have rush order on it to get even one off done in three weeks. So um, that's that's one of my main my, my main points is the custom, customization customization of it because a lot of them are cookie cutters and it's it's just when you're looking at a six acre ten acre development project we're doing a, a we're doing one in Clarksville Tennessee on four and a half acres but it's going to be an Actually, apartment you know, complex. Do you know Ashley Christian up there in Clarksville? Ashley, Christian, EXP icon agent. Yeah, Christian yeah I, I know her. She's a I know her, yes. She's a client yes. of mine um, and another another venture, but she's a, she's a mutual friend. Yeah, she's a <laughs> – that's so funny. Then we have a mutual friend. She's a <laughs> client of <laughs> mine. Uh, You're back in the Matrix, man. Say that last part China, again. And we're doing a nice – huh? You're back in the Matrix. What did you say? You're back in the Matrix. Say that last part of it again. It no, a little bit broke up a little bit. Yeah, I just came I from Clarksville. I just came from Clarksville with, I just came uh, from Clarksville with uh, hanging out with her I, for the weekend with my together out there. Um, so, um, yeah, then we have the same we have the same show people then. Um, we would have to talk offline then. Um, oh, absolutely. Shoot me back to her husband in HQ Barbershop. I actually built their site. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very small you, world, you, brother. You got the one? <laughs> yes, I put it on my I put it on my Instagram page. Man, that's a beautiful um 
Baba Shop. I, I love oh, the man. concept. Oh, we, man. We, 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 we're going to have to discuss some things. But, here's the, thing but here's the thing I was going to tell you. You were talking about... Uh, you were talking about... Um, I think Waka... I think Waka uh, Oh, Eric, you break it up heavy, Eric, bro. you break it up I do. I do. I do. Hold on, hold on, Eric. Uh, hold on, hold on, yeah, yeah. Eric. So, uh, do me a favor. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, do me a favor. Uh, can you hear me? You, you, no, no, you're, you're yeah. breaking up like like so bad. Feel <laughs> <laughs> wow. free. We might man, have to, we man, might um, have to do a GoFundMe for you. Eric. I don't, I don't know why. I just <laughs> man, you need to go find me for your satellite. Maybe. I don't know. Are but, you, uh, so turn off. Are you, turn off your so Wi-Fi. Turn off. Turn off uh, your see, Wi-Fi. See if you could turn off uh, your see, Wi-Fi. See if you could turn off your Wi-Fi and just run on your cellular. Because sometimes that gets it better. I just did that. I just did that. So maybe that's why you can hear me now. Yeah. yeah oh, much you. better. Yeah. Yeah. We can hear you. You there? You there? Oh. oh. Okay, so uh, Eric, we'll we'll swing right on back to you. Um, uh, but clearly, Jer um, Jeremy is vetted, right? <laughs> like he, you guys have friends in the same circles. He actually built that barbershop that she runs her spot out of. Um, oh, sorry, no. I really quick. I didn't build the that barbershop. Uh, I built his. There, I built the oh, website. Got it, got it, got sorry, oh, I got it, got it, got it. Sorry. Yeah, no. So they're they're a mutual friend, but that barbershop, I actually was with them before they actually <laughs> built it, <laughs> and to how where the progression was. And so I've been friends with them for about two years. I ah, got it, got it. All right, cool. I ah, got it, got it. So, All right, cool, cool. Yeah, I definitely won't take credit where credit's not good, where it's not deserved. I definitely won't do that. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate you, Jeremy. Yeah, we appreciate you, Jeremy. Thank you, thank you. Um, so with that being said, right, so we want to ping pong around the stage. Um, there was a question asked in the back channel before we go to uh, one of the other speakers on stage. What's the perspective buyer demographic for small Is homes? This is this thing like for two adults, two kids, family, uh, or more in line of an adult or two? Um, so let's answer that question. Yeah, and I saw that that was Ben's question. That was a really good one too, because there's a lot of, and that's a very broad question because there's a lot of people when it comes to even retirement options, those who are wanting to downsize and minimize their living. A lot of folks are in the nomads. A lot of them want to stay at a you know three month stay somewhere and then go pick up and go somewhere else. Um, even if they have a family. So we can create it to where it's a uh, three bedroom, two bath, a tiny, tiny home, to where it's spacious enough to where, you know, people don't feel like closed in or feel like it's, you know, it's it's a, a bad use of space, right? Because everything when it, because my wife does interior design for a living. And one of the biggest things, you know, that we all know, especially in real estate, it's not the space, it's the utilization of the space, it's space optimization. And so that's where, when it comes to uh, the buyer demographics, I mean, they could be digital nomads. They could be uh, people who are wanting to not have to, I mean, not really have to buy a home, especially those who are um, killing their rent, uh, you know, and go back and live with mom or dad, the students, those, uh, those folks who are not wanting to rent and save money for their improve their lifestyle. There's a lot of demographics that it goes into and kind of picking back on um, what uh, Todd was saying earlier about the vets, those who are wanting to leg up, those who are not getting approved uh, through certain, um, certain institutions for their, uh, for a, uh, whatever they're they, for their VA loan or whatever the case may be, whatever they're having issues with. I mean, this is a wildly new play that it, not a new play, but a really a more abstract. And so it really boils down to, I mean, they could be families that have uh, children that are, uh, that are business oriented, that are focused on traveling. Um, those who are wanting to downsize, those who are wanting to retire. Um, I've been talking with a lot of folks, <laughs> including um, you know, relatives and other folks that are here in town. My wife used to work in hospice before she did interior design. A lot of people don't want to put their their family member in a in a hospice because that's going to be like 15k a, a month. Yes, it, it takes care of like the food and the lodging and other stuff and the care, but a lot of times people want to put that money back in their pocket and spend that time with their family member. No, you're absolutely no, right about that. You're chair. absolutely right about uh, that. Chair. <laughs> you know, um, and you know what's funny? Like uh, while you were talking, there was also a person uh, in the back channel, Miss Precious. She said, "Team small home owner." I just bought my two bedroom, two bath, and I'm loving it so far. Uh, she says she used Bank of America to get the financing, um, and they actually had down payment assistance uh, for that as well, which is a huge bonus, right? Because uh, some people are asking, how do they finance this? Um, is it possible? And I see that she's out in Brooklyn.